Are you looking to learn CAD software such as Siemens NX or SolidWorks? If you are, our books have you covered. With easy to follow examples and definitions from beginner to advanced, you will almost certainly learn something new. Purchase a PDF or paperback in our store today. Hello everyone, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and today I would like to show you uh, some really neat uh, geometry. Um, there's a heat exchanger that is uh, necessary and uh, in order to do it there's some really great techniques that I can show you uh, in NX. So as you can see um, I started out with a sketch that had the basic dimensions of the heat exchanger that I want. You could see it's 12 by 4 with these um, uh, two inch radii. Um, so that's just your garden variety sketch. Um, I centered it about zero, zero, zero. Uh, then I extruded it into a, uh, uh, into a sheet body. When you extrude, of course, you don't have to make a solid all the time. You can go into the extrude command in settings and make sure it's a sheet body. Uh, next, I created a helix and the helix had the um, number of turns and the spacing in between the pitch uh, that I wanted for this heat exchanger. And then the cool thing about NX is it has a project curve command that is very, very um, powerful and robust. And so, uh, as you can see, I have now a uh, helix that's projected onto um, this uh, surface that, I, that I've done. Uh, very nice. Uh, then uh, I came up with um, another sketch. Let's go here. Let's go to put a plane here. Um, other sketches required. So here's a sketch on the end of this, um, of this helix uh, or this helix that's been projected that I will use to do a sweep of some sort. There's that. Um, other planes were created in order to make the portions of the uh, heat exchanger that come off and come down. Um, another sketch. So here we, here we have a, a sketch that is on a plane that's in line with the uh, center line of the helix. And it's got the uh, minimum, minimum radius here. Uh, here, we, here we go with a one inch minimum radius, okay. Um, the planes that I made, the datum planes that I made um, were very easy to make because uh, datum planes in NX are really powerful and really easy. Uh, in general, you have this datum plane function and you, by default, it's on inferred and you have all of these different uh, ways that you can make a datum plane. And in general, the datum plane is smart enough to, when you select different entities, it knows exactly what kind of plane that can be made from the selection that you've made. So you don't have to go into the menu and, and figure out um, and tell it what you want. You just start picking on things and it's smart enough to know. I love that. And as you can see, I left a little space in between that sketch and the end of my um, uh, projected helix so that I could do a bridge curve. So there's that. And then more datum planes and sketches and bridge curves. And so in the end analysis, I had uh, this portion of the heat exchanger that's going to come off and this one. Uh, then I did the big sweep. And of course, NX is uh, really great at sweeping geometry. You've got the sweep along a guide. You've got the sweep swept. You've got the um, sweep uh, swept volume. Uh, you have a, a myriad, if you will, uh, of, of sweeps. And if I go to um, insert surface, uh, insert sweep. You can see I've got the swept, the styled sweep, section surface, variational sweep, sweep along a guide, tube, and swept volume. So uh, pretty much anything you could do, you want to do, you can do. Uh, then I shelled it out, gave it the uniform wall thickness it's necessary to have this thing be what we want. Uh, then I did an extrude, another extrude, um, some more extrudes. Um, then I did a uh, thread. Uh, not a symbolic thread, but a, a detailed thread. That's really nice. But then I wanted to dress off these um, angular sections. And so I did that. Um, and let's see. Oh, yes. Now, these were uh, sharp corners. And so I made this little sketch that I could revolve so that I could do a subtract. But I didn't do a subtract immediately because I wanted that same feature over here. So I uh, copied it basically over there. And then I did a subtract all at once. And there you have it. If I say Control-B and select everything, hold my finger on the Shift key and just deselect the 
heat exchanger. Then I've got that uh, as a standalone piece of geometry. Uh, so easy uh, in NX. Um, certainly, um, I've done the same exercise in other systems and um, other powerful systems. I would say NX is really, really great um, with the flexibility and the variety of commands that it has. Um, so there you have it, the uh, fully parametric uh, heat exchanger. Again, my name is Steve Samuel uh, from Design Visionaries. Please, if you liked this video, help us out and like and subscribe. Um, and thank you very much.